Welcome to the wonderful world of age gap love. Couples decades apart, but together happily ever after. She's created a new lease of life for me. Thank goodness I met her. A girlfriend old enough to be called mum. All the other young people that were hanging around called me mama. I never did because I physically never. can't. Family relations pushed to the limit. After my first wife died, I was introduced to my next wife, which happened to be your mother. And 45 years apart, but ready to tie the knot. He gets down on one knee, butt naked, and he's like, will you marry me even though I'm naked? I'll marry you because you're naked. <laughs> Sometimes, an age gap is so big that it's easy to lose count. My name's Sarah and I'm 28. And I'm David and I am 69 and there's a 40-year age gap between us. 41. Oh, sorry. It's early morning in the Welsh Valleys and despite his age, David is first up and raring to go. I was up at half past six this morning just starting to get ready for, for the day out. I got up at half eight. <laughs> He's the dog's body in the family. <laughs> David may be nearly 70, but there's no rest for this pensioner. He used to own a pet shop, but now this couple run a bouncy castle business, and today they have a booking. That's a lot of lifting and carrying, but Sarah thinks with her face painting and looking after the children, she is the one who does all the hard work. All he has to do is blow the castle up, and then he can walk away. Mine is more intense. Whatever the truth, this seems to be a relationship that bounces along just fine. He's quiet and gentle. It's just our personalities. We're so good together. We just seem to gel, don't we? Get on. Yeah. yeah. But being with a man 41 years older can have its drawbacks. I don't fancy you, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're old and grey. <laughs> and you put on loads of weight. And like David's ego, the bouncy castle business can be deflating. But this couple are used to things not going well. My family completely disowned me. They didn't agree with it at all. When it comes to age gap love, romance can blossom anywhere, even under the bonnet of a car. You're going to buy it for me? £32,000. They are my budget. I'm Zara and I'm 21. I'm Paul and I'm 48 and there's a 27 year age gap between us. This love affair began two years ago when a tall, dark, handsome mechanic turned up to work on Zara's car. I couldn't find anywhere to park, and so I asked Zara if she could stay with me so that she could keep an eye on my car, and um, she could then keep an eye on my tools in case anybody walked off with them. I was not keeping an eye on your van, I do apologise. <laughs> That's OK, <laughs> it's fine. I just started flirting, which was completely out of the ordinary for me. I don't flirt with anyone, let alone an older guy. Paul had no idea he was being chatted up, so he just packed up and moved on to his next appointment. But Zara was after maximum customer satisfaction, so sent a text asking to meet up. I was sort of shocked at first. I knew how old she was, and I think she knew how old I was, but I wasn't entirely sure. Zara was determined, so they did start dating, and two years on, these petrol heads are inseparable. I think I got one. <laughs> Well, get, get one of those, please. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. Yep. We can do that. There we go. <laughs> Thank right. you. I don't think the age gap shows for us. I don't... I don't see it. I just noticed this one doesn't have any eyes. Can I swap what? it for one with yeah, eyes? it does. Look. Any oh, that's got eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's got eyes, sorry. Open your eyes. <laughs> I think you need yours testing again, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> have you had a nice day? I've had a lovely day, thank you. Good. 
One, two, three, one. When you're much older than your partner, it's important to keep all your faculties working. Three. I'm Eugen, I'm 32. I'm Brian, I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian, I'm 72, and there is a 40-year age gap. Far down as you can. Three, one, it's good. Sprightly pensioner Brian met Eugen in South Africa six years ago, when he was sat in a cafe minding his own business. Now, I wasn't looking for anybody. Just by chance, I sat at a table adjoining um, Eugen and her girlfriend. And then we got chatting. I could go straight down there one time, can't I? I asked if she wanted to do, see me the following day. Now, there was definitely a spark there. That that's, that's literally sparked it off. That's good. I just look at it like we're the same age, because uh, he doesn't even look his age, and uh, he's got good sense of humour. And I don't even worry about what people say or what people think. To embark upon his new life with a much younger woman, Brian brought Eugen back to the UK, and life could not be sweeter. Oh, yeah. I'll keep it going. Ooh. Good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Within months of that first chance meeting, fast-moving Brian, who was 66 at the time, decided to ask the then 26-year-old Eugen to be his wife, and she could not believe her luck. Well, it was a surprise, actually. He said, will you marry me? I was like, oh, yes. Because that's what I wanted, you know, a serious relationship. But for Brian, the road to happiness has been touched by great tragedy. Having lost all those members of my family, I thought it very difficult to be able to see myself being happy again. On the other side of the world, deep in a forest far, far away, a mysterious age gap couple are very much in love. <laughs> Hiding here are 47-year-old Claire, originally from Bristol, and her 22-year-old partner, Danyon, a friend of her teenage son. My son was a really sociable guy, and there was always lots of friends and people coming around and hanging out around us. All the other young people that were hanging around me and living with me all called me mama. Never I did. never did because I physically never, can't. Ever. Despite Claire being his mate's mum, Danion felt he'd met his kindred spirit. I was throwing a party. We ended up getting together at the party. It was a hell of a party. Oh, no. <laughs> From what I can remember, it was a hell of a party. I assumed it would just be a one-off. OK, he's done this because I, out of curiosity almost. But we got close really quickly. Yeah, well, cos at the time I kind of liked Claire anyway. Danion was only 20 and Claire was 45, and both were going through hard times. She had recently separated and his ex-girlfriend had died. Keen to escape, they both camped out here in Claire's ancient wooden cottage in the middle of nowhere. Every night, 8, 9 p.m., if you were running low on the generator tank, 8, 9 p.m. was your power cut. We were in bed by 8 o'clock most nights, <laughs> snuggled up with the hot water bottles. Minus 5 inside the house, ice on the windows. To keep themselves warm and occupied, the couple began renovating this cottage in the hope of renting it out, all part of slowly building a new life together. There's something about the tranquility of the place, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. The, like the isolation it. comes with a benefit. It's time to think. So, yeah, it was a real chance for us to, to heal a little bit, I think, wasn't it? Mm. After the long, hard winter months and their emotional wounds on the mend, Claire and Daniel were ready to face the world. That first winter gave us enough drive to say, OK, now well, we need to pull our lives back together. So we arranged to move into town, a room, internet and the inside shower. Yeah, I you didn't have to wash from, so like, excited. water out of a bag. As the snow melted and spring started, they gingerly emerged from the wilderness to tell the world about their 25-year age gap love. I wondered if I was one of those tragic older women having a midlife crisis. I wondered if I was being unfair to Daniel. I've had my children. I have five children. He's a young, fit, healthy adult male. He should be looking forward to these things like marriage and kids. 
And I felt that committing to me was taking so much away from him. But Daniel was focused on a more immediate problem. What would her children think? I was more worried about if everyone in her family didn't think I would fit in so I wouldn't be compatible. This is the home of retired policeman 72-year-old Brian and his African wife 32-year-old Yugen. Brian brought young Yugen to the UK to live and has been keen to teach her a few basics about the British way of life. I had no idea how to make this until I met Brian and then he taught me how to make eggs, how to make because we, we used to eat African breakfast, you know, so... But I'm quite good, no? No, you're very good, you're excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, this oil is too hot. Well, you had a good teacher, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Feed for a king. <laughs> That's done, that. Pensioner Brian is only too happy to impart his wisdom. Well, I couldn't do it better than this. <laughs> Are you the one who taught well. me? Brian spent 35 years working with the police in South Africa. He was married with two children, but then his life was turned upside down. March 2010, I lost Christine, my daughter, aged 38, from an asthma attack. Shortly after that, my mother died in England. I lost my dad, also living in England. A year and a half later, my wife took her own life. So I'd lost four members of my family within the space of two years. So I was really on my own with my son. Brian had almost lost everything and was facing a very lonely retirement. Then up popped Eugen. But he's gonna hurt his back. Oh, oh let me just give him his tool. Oh, you're gonna hurt your back oh, now. Oh, lovely, thank you, love. I'm privileged to have met her. It's still a honeymoon, and long may it continue to be honeymoon. Don't worry, you got me. Yeah, thank goodness for that. <laughs> for many, retirement is not the time to start a brand new family, but life is full of surprises when it comes to age gap love. I'm Don, and I'm 68. I'm Stephanie and I'm 23 and there's a 45 year age gap. Canadian couple Stephanie and Don live in Vernon, near Vancouver. When they met four years ago, Don was working in construction and used to regularly drop into his favourite pub. Time to change your diaper. Yeah, it's okay. We finished in no time. So Don and I met while I was working at a local pub um, that he was a regular at. We just started being flirty all the time together and uh, it just kind of took off from there. It was surprising to me because I've always liked older men, but I've never pursued anyone in Don's age category. Don was single when they met, but had been married before and has a son the same age as Stephanie. Now he's with a partner 45 years younger, he's decided to do it all over again. Shortly after, probably six months or so after we met, she always used to say, oh, I want a baby so bad, because she'd see somebody else with a baby, right? And, and how do you deny that? Yeah, I think you're all ready to go here. For Stephanie, getting together with a man who is nearly 70 means time is of the essence. Oh. oh. oh you're and she likes to remind Don of their progress. <laughs> Me and my sentimental. And then there's everything else in there, too. December 11th, 2014, I met the most handsome man I've ever seen, you. January 23rd, 2015, you became my boyfriend. <laughs> and then she wrote a little poem to me, roses are red and violets are blue, inside me to hearts beat just for you. Stephanie keeps everything. She taped the test here to the page. Hi, Daddy, I can't wait to meet you. Baby Walper, 2018. Yeah, and there's your, yeah, there's your name. Yep, yeah, there's your name up there. That's Lachlan. Four years since they met, and with a baby son, the only thing left to do is get married. So later this week, they plan to tie the knot in a small ceremony with family and friends. Do you have any more suggestions, babe, for music? Something like a two-step. Okay. Uh, 
just something that everybody will recognize too. The rest of the music is just, just background, right? Because yeah. people will be talking. And... Yeah, and you can turn it down. For, yeah, exactly. For that. It'll be quieter. Ever since Stephanie met Don, she knew he was the one and that she needed to get a move on. I never really wanted kids and I never really wanted to get married. But when I met Dawn, I just was like, you know what? I would totally marry you. I would love for you to be the father of my child. But I never planned on it at all, ever. It worked. Back in the UK, and lovebirds 21-year-old florist Zara and 48-year-old mechanic Paul are besotted with each other. It was uh, Paul's birthday recently, and I made him this. He said, I can't believe it, no one's ever done a personalised card for me, and he absolutely loved the photos and the message inside. And Dear Paul, my handsome, amazing, gorgeous, sexy, perfect boyfriend, happy birthday, another year older but still as yummy. I hope you have an amazing day and a great year. I'm blessed to have you and lucky to have found my soulmate. With lots and lots of love and hugs from Zara, with lots of kisses. Very cheesy, but I mean every word of it. <laughs> every day, basically, for well, since we've been together, Zara's always made me a packed lunch. She would write me a nice little note saying, you know, how much she's going to miss me. I uh, hope you are having a good day. I'll be having an OK day off, but would be a million times better if I could share it with you. Uh, looking forward to seeing you later. I love you with all my heart. I'm yours, Hanson. And then she'd put a heart. I've got every single one that she's ever written me. Paul doesn't leave romantic notes in return, but Zara doesn't mind. She's in love, something her family can't get their heads around. They think of him as the villain someone who's kind of trapped me or kind of preyed on me and is kind of moulding me to his life. And that's not him at all. I, I think it is, a, you know, it is a massive black cloud, really. Zara should have her family and she's happy. You know, and I think, you know, if they could see us together, they would probably, hopefully, they would see that. This is Zara's first serious relationship, and some relatives are concerned she may miss out. Paul has been married before and has two teenage sons, so doesn't want any more kids. Um, children is not going to happen. Um, I had to snip. I've never really been fixed on having kids. I am only 21, so it's not really kind of in my mind yet but there are plenty of women out there who don't have kids and it's not the end of the world and I can still have a great life without them. Just being with the man of her dreams is enough for Zara and she hopes their plans for the future will prove their love is genuine. I think if I moved into a new house with Paul that they'd think, well, maybe she's making a good life up there and maybe we should go and see this for ourselves and actually put something physical to everything she's saying. It seems that when age gap couples tell family and friends about their love, things can go either way. When feelings started to develop, it was like, if it's going to happen, if it's going to be a relationship, what will everybody else think? Oh, don't start without me! Oh, I just went. But Daniel and Claire had no need to worry. Her kids took to him immediately. Now he's like one of the family. Ha ha ha! Uno! Sometimes. Sometimes I get a bit nervous that I might not be as parental as I should be, but everything seems to go fine. Claire's two eldest have left home and her 19-year-old son is still friends with Daniel. The three younger ones love having a hands-on stepdad. He'll play games with us and really, like, talk to us and engage with us. <laughs> he's nice and he's smart. Seven, eight. I think he does really well. I think they relate to him. I mean, that's one of the, the benefits, I think, of, of having a young partner. So, at 22, Danion is now a stepdad to five, including one who is older than he is. This new start with an older woman has turned his life around. 
I feel like it keeps me a lot more in check. Like when I was living on my own, I would like, I'd tidy maybe once a weekend. Make sure you stay careful though. I will. I couldn't have stayed the same way. I just had to grow. She showed me how to realise things. And how to wash up. Uh -huh. Better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Being the man of the house may well have helped Danyon mature, but Claire can't help but worry about what this 25-year age gap will look like in the future. It does sit at the back of my mind, is how will he possibly find me attractive in 20 years' time? And how will I cope with the fact that lots of other people will find him really attractive? And, and why would he want to stay with me? I think it's terrific because these things don't actually it bother stress you me at all. all do I don't see it happening. Like, like, I love her, and and that's as far as it goes. On a positive um, side, I turn fifty when he turns twenty-five, so we can have a half-century, quarter-century party. <laughs> a wedding day should be the happiest day of your life, and for sixty-nine-year-old David and twenty-eight-year-old Sarah, it was sort of. You just kept looking at me all the time. Well, that's because I was in... making me nervous. Yes, I was very, very nervous. Still quite sure whether it was going to happen or not, but uh, it did. I was very nervous until I seen you walking down the aisle with a dog. And then I thought that was quite funny. You know? Thanks. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Unique. How yeah. many people have a dog as a bridesmaid? She was my best friend. Yeah. But this age gap couple's relationship caused such a deep family rift that many didn't attend what was David's third wedding. It wasn't the wedding that I dreamed of when I was younger, but I had the perfect person to marry. <laughs> so it was still a perfect day. And it would be nicer for more people to come. The problem was the controversy surrounding David and Sarah's relationship and how it all began. After my first wife died, I'd been married for over 30 years. Um, I'd been on my own for a little while and got really, really low and really, really lonely. And then um, I was introduced to my next wife, which happened to be your mother. When David married my mum, um, I was... 14, nearly 15. I was living in Portsmouth with my dad and then moved on to into foster care. Um, so I only met David for the first time at the wed, like the day before the wedding, and then didn't see each other for a year. Their unlikely friendship blossomed when Sarah dropped in to visit her mum. Me and David just had a natural friendship and just enjoyed each other's company and could talk and laugh and be friends. It was only after David separated from Sarah's mother that this couple went public about their love for each other. But ever since then, Sarah's family have had nothing to do with them. So this age gap couple need to rely on each other. I'm sure that's a, a, an image of Elvis Presley. Look at it, look. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sure it is. You're an idiot. Yeah. When people see us together, I don't think they realise there is a, a, a gap sometimes. So, oh, know. thanks. I don't look 60. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it like that. No, I mean, they don't... In, in our... In our think about it now. Dig yourself <laughs> a bigger hole. Yeah. <laughs> There's... A, a, a physical age, but there isn't a mental age. There is that. <laughs> so you say that I'm old or you're young? I'm young, definitely. <laughs> That's right, then. There's only a few days to go before 68-year-old retired building contractor Don and 23-year-old Stephanie are getting married. I'm so excited that we're getting married this week. Holy crap, that's like three days away now. Oh, is it this week? Yeah, believe it or not. Snowfall in the middle of summer. Yeah. It was <laughs> like he's got the best smile in his laugh. I love his laugh. Neither can quite believe how quickly love blossomed between them. It was my second training shift, and I dropped something on the floor. And then when I stood up from picking it up, he was standing right in front of me, and I smiled at him right away. When she did smile, she had a really nice smile. 
It was just a fun back and forth thing for me initially. I understand it was different for her. It was almost impulsively that I wanted to be like, oh, like, I love you. Like, I wanted to just say it right away, but it was weird because I'd never met him before. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Dawn proposed. We were in our apartment in Victoria, and I was doing the dishes, and he was walking around the apartment naked, and then he grabs my waist and, like, spins me around. And he gets down on one knee, and he's like, will you marry me even though I'm naked? And then I started laughing, and I was like, I'll marry you because you're naked. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Cool. I'll wait till I get in that suit now, right? Ever since this couple got together, people have wanted to know what it is that makes this 45-year age gap relationship work. I give him head like every morning. When we first started dating, um, we had sex a lot. Oh my God. Every day, we would have sex every day, multiple times a day, um, any time of the day. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been with guys close to my age, almost 10 years older, 15 years older, and Dawn is by far the best out of all of them. Back in the UK, and sometimes it's the simpler things in life that make the heart beat faster, 48-year-old Paul's love for pot plants is one. For years, I've just, I've really liked orchids. It's an unusual flower. I'm gonna have to repot this soon, I think. I've always had a fascination with bonsai. This is probably my third. Twenty-one-year-old Zara is only too happy to adopt life in the slow lane, and despite her family's concerns that she's missing out by being with an older man, she's okay with it. There was a time when I did used to hit the clubs and bars, and, and come back <laughs> very worse for wear. As a couple, we don't really go out too much, do we? We don't really do anything like um, clubbing or, or sort of drinking in bars and things. I probably feel even older than I do at the moment. So. Finished. <laughs> I adore Paul because he is so genuine and he cares about me and I'm very lucky to have him. Just occasionally, Zara likes to swap coffee for cocktails with one of her friends. Uh, two zombies, please. Yeah. yeah. But even then, it doesn't take long before she gets back onto her favourite subject. He's gotten really soppy actually lately. It's just amazing because he usually doesn't kind of show that side of him. I also bought a new car, so me and Paul were going over to get my new car. Nice. Me and Paul tracked it down. In some relationships, age gap love seems to have healing powers. For 22-year-old Danion, being with 47-year-old Claire has helped him figure his life out. And in return, mother of five Claire has had a huge confidence boost. For them, being in New Zealand also helps. I think the population is quite laid back. I think people don't judge so much here as they do perhaps in other countries. I'm more likely to get high-fived than a negative comment. I think you too. I don't know, because if they have, I probably wasn't paying attention anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but no matter how laid back Kiwis are, there was no predicting what Danion's mum would say when her son introduced his new girlfriend, who's around the same age as her. I was nervous. You were nervous the first time we all met. Mm. Hey! Hi. She already had a feeling. Did she? Um, because of, like, Awkward. I was enjoying myself a lot more. I did want Mum to be a part of knowing that, too. While I was telling her, she cut me off at the end with the ending, because she already did know. And then she had a bit of a laugh with Claire when Claire came round. Oh, she did, didn't she? <laughs> she oh, no, I opened the that. door, I pretended to be all aggressive. Oh, oh. 
Well, let me tell you. <laughs> no, we get on pretty good. I was petrified <laughs> about telling you. I was very nervous that you would take it badly. Yeah. She was real cool with it before we met. I was living on my own for almost two years. And I think at that time, Mum had been a lot more concerned about how I'm coping out in the world. Didn't bother me at all. Oh, gosh. Yeah. No. Amazing. No. It's, um, he's his own man. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. So as long as Daniel's happy, that's all I care. And I feel lucky. Because I would have taken it if she'd found it hard. I would have understood that. So family and friends have all stood by Claire and Daniel and their 25-year age gap, because in the grand scheme of things, that isn't the weirdest thing about them. And soon, they hope to tell the world all about their strange plans. We need to source blood. Do you know any butchers? I'm sure I can find one. 72-year-old former police officer Brian is loving his retirement with his much younger wife, Eugen. He treats her to a great way of life, and in exchange, she looks after him. She's created a totally new lease of life for me. Yeah, I'm planning to live another 100 years, more or less. And for this new happiness, Brian is only too pleased to teach Eugen a few things. <laughs> Don't let me drop. <laughs> a perfect partnership. I can't do it <laughs> but Eugen has had to pay a big price to come to the UK. I was, you know, a bit emotional actually because I have to leave my daughter. She gets on with Brian very well. She calls Brian, Uncle Brian, I miss Uncle Brian, and, and they always chat on WhatsApp or on the phone. Brian is taking Eugen to see her daughter in a few weeks, and one day they hope to live as a family. Once we settled, I'll bring it over. So I want to bring it over, yeah, maybe next year, yes. <laughs> You've got so much patience. <laughs> Back in Canada, it's the day before 23-year-old Stephanie marries the man of her dreams, 68-year-old Don. Time to pack a few last-minute essentials. I bought this. I'll probably wear that tomorrow. Stephanie says it was love at first sight when Don walked into the bar she worked in four years ago. Now the reality of marrying a man 45 years older is sinking in. I've always been an impulsive person. I'm more like, just do it and then decide later. It usually takes time for things to really sink in with me. Yeah, I can feel it, like I'm starting to get jittery and things like that. But Don is old hat at this type of big occasion. I was more nervous the first marriage, simply because it was just all so new. And uh, this one is, uh, yeah, we're just going through the paces. I've uh, been uh, keeping Stephanie calm. She was uh, a little nervous this morning, so I just gave her a big hug and just calmed her down. I says, uh, we have lots of time to pack. Next time we come home, I'll be Mrs. Wolper. It'll be interesting to see how tomorrow goes. Later the same day, Don and Stephanie arrive at the wedding venue to meet the registrar for a last minute rehearsal. You're gonna walk in first and come and be up at the front. They're looking forward to a big celebration tomorrow, as it's taken a long time for some to accept their love for each other. When Don and I first started dating, my mum basically told me that I was not welcome in her house or in her yard, um, and to not ever ask her for any favors. And it was, it was a definitely a negative response. You're gonna take a couple of deep breaths. Okay. Because all you think about when you come down there is getting married. Okay. But over the years, Stephanie's mum has changed her view of this age gap relationship, especially since she's become a grandma. So she will be here tomorrow. 
Don's family live too far away, so can't make it, and sadly his son, who was at school with Stephanie, has never accepted their relationship. Don hopes he might still come. If my son turned up at uh, our doorstep or at the wedding, he wouldn't be turned away, no. He'd be welcome there, we'd have a seat for him. Uh, we'd probably give him a pint or two and uh, hope he had a good time dancing. It was during a long, cold winter that 22-year-old Danion and his 47-year-old partner Claire really got to know each other while living here in this ramshackle old cottage in the middle of nowhere. And while they were here, they turned this wooden shack into something quite extraordinary. It's now a house of horrors. It was the worst house in New Zealand, that was my premise. You are actually in the horror setting. Now, instead of watching a horror film, you could be in one for a change. This creepy cottage is now a grim tourist attraction, complete with all manner of grisly detail. And paying guests are welcome to stay, if they dare. It was hell of a hard work coming down here over the winter, staying here whilst doing it up, because there were things about it that looked still a little bit too homely, so we added all the antique wallpaper and added in all the sort of moulding and, and all the lovely dolls. It's amazing how dolls creep people out. Daniel helped clean the house up when we got it ready for yeah, sale, yeah, didn't yeah. we do a stellar job, Daniel? So it seems Claire and Daniel's 25-year age gap may now be the least strange thing about them. And as with their relationship, they are hugely proud of what they have achieved. We've just moved forward and moved forward, and the next step, trying to, to get this place re-operating as a business would be awesome. Yeah. So it's like we did this. Yeah. On our own, sort of? Yeah. Another couple pleased to have overcome the obstacles they've faced are 28-year-old Sarah and her 69-year-old husband, David. They've been together 10 years and have twins. So life is good. So we don't seem to get on each other's nerves that much. <laughs> hey, what's that mean? You have that one? Oh, that, one that one, then. You have a little one. Their 41-year age gap has never been a problem for either of them. It's an unconventional love match, but then David's never been one for flowers. Yeah, he's never actually eaten a marrow. Or romantic dates. I don't know what you cast if we went swimming, would that be romantic <laughs> or not? I don't know. <laughs> we don't do candlelit dinners or... Dead. <laughs> no. It's taken a few years to reach happiness, but now things have settled, they're looking forward to their 10th wedding anniversary. I want to do a vow renewal service, because we've got a lot more friends and family that we can have a wedding, even though he says it's, it's not, not a wedding. wedding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Many age gap couples believe the opposition they sometimes face simply makes them stronger. Zara and Paul are closer than ever and have big plans, starting with a new sofa. This is a bit this grey is... and dull. <laughs> well, this is the original colours that came in the house. I've not decorated at all. It doesn't feel like mine, so I still feel like a, a guest almost in a weird way. Paul accepts that to go out with a woman 27 years younger, he's going to have to change a few things. At the moment, moving into a new place is a target that we work towards. Um, long term, I'd like to settle down at that place. With a new house, new furniture, it's just a new start. New start, yeah. It's all about the future now for Zara and Paul. We need a new table because the one we've got at the moment is... Yes. Got all my crap on it. Rubbish, yeah, it's just a dumping ground. Yeah. Maybe we need something like this then to put all my crap in it. <laughs> Despite the doubters, they're just amazed to have found each other. We've found each other and we fit together. She's like my best friend and everything else rolled into one. I couldn't wish for anything better or want, to be honest. This is just the next step in actually getting to where we want to be. Yeah.
Even at 72, Brian has a whole new life ahead of him. Not only with his 32-year-old wife, but also with her teenage daughter. I enjoyed it when we were living in Cape Town. I enjoyed the company, you know, I really did. Kept me young. <laughs> Yugen can't wait to bring her daughter to the UK, but until then, Brian likes to surprise her with trips back home. Let's go and book it. Oh, for South Africa? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, yeah, why not? Very exciting for us to see our family, so it's very special. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. And my daughter, she always like, oh, mommy, when, when are you coming? And looking forward to it. A couple of weeks later, their age gap family is complete. Hi, Hi everybody. This is uh, Shamiso, my daughter. Happy we're back in South Africa. Yeah, lovely to be back. Bye. Bye. The big day has finally arrived for 23-year-old Stephanie and 68-year-old Don. These lovebirds met four years ago. They have a baby together and now friends and family are gathering for their wedding. Their age gap has taken a while for some in the family to get their heads around. It's a bit of a shock. Don will be 69 in October and I am 58. So when they got engaged, I told Don that under no circumstances was he ever calling me mom. My initial reaction was, you know, what the heck is going on here? He was an old man and she was a young girl. My attitude changed. I did become to realize that Stephanie's never been as happy as she is with Don. Now that they have Lachlan, they are a perfect little family. Did you bring the um, CD player in yet, Don? Just it. Oh, okay. Perfect. He's going to be like a grandfather to Lachlan in some respects, but. He's definitely daddy. <laughs> With Stephanie's age, I see her as an old soul. And I'm actually calm now again. He's got the experience over Stephanie and uh, helps balance her too. I just have to put it on wedding band first. I've never seen him so happy. Sadly, Don's son didn't make a surprise appearance today, as Don had secretly hoped. And Stephanie's dad passed away last year. But nothing will stop this day from being perfect. Stephanie, Teresa, you have so much love to give, and you give it so freely and sincerely. I hope you are as happy to become Mrs. Walper as I am to become your husband. You are like gold dust. I will never take you for granted. I will never wish for you to be anything other than exactly what you are. And I promise to love you always, for always. You have my heart for the rest of my life. I now pronounce you husband and wife and ask you to seal this special time with a kiss. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> This age gap couple are now age gap husband and wife. Give big smiles. Are you a daddy? You're a daddy, you're a daddy. With Don nearing his 70s and Steph not even 24, they cannot believe today has actually happened. But these newlyweds believe they have everything to look forward to. Yes, it's great. Uh, I'm glad so many people could show up. There's probably going to be uh, some missing because of traffic. I don't know. There's a few that didn't make it, but that's okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, Ooh. I think now that we're officially married, I think people, you know, might start to respect our relationship a little bit more. Fine. Yeah. 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 Whatever, we're doing our own thing. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. 